Life gets boring sometimes. So you want to spice it up your sex life, right? You want to try different things. Like role playing or, you know, get a little thing thing in the back seat. You be looking at your old lady like, hey, hey. You want to? She drives a green camera and the seats go all the way down. All the way down. Oh no, this ain't about me. Oh no, no, leave me out of this. I'm talking about PG County cops. Hello everybody. So, in this story, we're gonna keep it local. All right, I'm from Maryland. So we're gonna go all the way to PG County. Uh, let me paint the scenario for you. It's Labor Day. Most people have off work. So you want to spend time with your family, right? So you decide to go to the park. Maybe we can, you know, play on the jungle gym. Maybe we could have a picnic. Just hang out. When a cop car pulls into the parking lot and then you're thinking to yourself, oh, okay, you know, maybe he's on lunch break. Maybe he's here just to keep an eye on us and make sure that the park is safe for us. You know, I feel safe. Until uh, a woman pulls up and, you know, they start getting a little too familiar with yourself. And you're like, wow, uh, th this guy is really serving and protecting right now. And then they proceed to get to the back seat of the cop car. And you're thinking to yourself, I wonder what they're doing back there. Reading her her Miranda rights? No, I don't think so. That's right. Walmart brand knockoff Andrew Tate. Francesco Marlette, a PG County cop, was caught getting a little getting a little busy in the back seat during the day in a park. Now, I'm not gonna act like an innocent party, okay? Alright? I've handled my business in the back in the back seat of a car before. But at least I was discreet about it. Maybe not do it in a marked police car, maybe a regular car or get a hotel room, or do it at night. But during the day, bro, you're a police officer. You should know better. But common sense ain't common. And unfortunately for this cop, uh, somebody got all that on camera. We were just trying to have a good time, go to uh, play soccer. Nelson Ochoa says he was in South Lawn Park in Oxon Hill on Labor Day enjoying a game of soccer with other families when a Prince George's County police cruiser pulled up and parked. He doesn't know what made him start to record, but he did. As soon as I started recording, a car pulled up and then a young lady came out. He recorded the two appearing to embrace and kiss and then get into the back of the officer's squad car. We couldn't believe what we were seeing and then what really made us go like, wow, like this is crazy is when... Like I said, when the car started rocking a little bit to the left and right, that's when we were like, wow, this is crazy. And broad daylight with kids around. He was in the car for about 35 to 40 minutes. Afterward, he says both quickly drove away in separate directions. Prince George's County Police released a statement on X, formerly known as Twitter, saying they were aware of the video and are investigating to determine the circumstances. But wait, there's more. Turns out that this is not the first time this guy's decided to be a little handsy with people. We reported on him back in 2016 when he was accused of beating his then-girlfriend's three-year-old son. In 2019, the father of that child told me in an exclusive interview that he was trying to keep Marlette away from his son. He would say, Daddy Francesco, which is his mom's boyfriend, hits me in my face and hits me in my stomach and he's really mean. According to the boy's medical records, the three-year-old was spanked, resulting in a head injury. The Prince George's officers who responded that day ruled it an accident. A grand jury disagreed and charged Marlette. But after agreeing to anger management, Marlette never stood trial. The charges were dropped, his record expunged, and he was back on the force. I fail to see how it's an accident to hit somebody. Like, like, do you not have control over your limbs? Do you have like idle hands and, you, and they just like do things on his own like, I can't control it. And why do certain people decide not to prosecute somebody? Like, if you committed a crime, if you committed assault, then you should be charged. Unless you're acting in self-defense, you should be charged. Oh, did I not mention that this guy is married too? Oh, I forgot to mention that part. Mm. 
Yes, Francisco Marlett is married to Paula Marlett, and they have kids together. I believe two or three kids together. And this is not the first time that Francisco and the side chick, Virginia Pinto, have hooked up. After the initial story got out, this is what Paula had to say in reaction to what was revealed. And of course, in classic side chick fashion, Virginia just couldn't help herself and had to clap back. I would also fail to mention that Virginia has kids of her own. Apparently they've been in a secret relationship for two years. I don't know how some of these women degrade themselves and want to be known as side pieces. Fighting over a man like this, I believe she was uh, in the US Army. She's collecting checks. She ain't doing nothing. Just get a divorce. Just keep it a buck. Keep it 100. Yeah, it would suck, but just do it the right way. It's got more to do with the man. Bro, you married with three kids, man. And clearly this man doesn't have a very good track record. Be honest with the person that you're with. If you're feeling somebody else, and you feel like your marriage or relationship isn't going the way you want and you've tried, then do it the right way. Something wrong with both of them. What is this world coming to?